so welcome to the first pick a card reading on this channel i am so excited um i've already shuffled and picked out the cards um so basically you're going to be picking a card based on basically which crystal resonates with you um this is pile one or maybe what number um it just depends okay this is pile one this is a beautiful clear quartz um i actually got this in south carolina isn't it gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it was mined in arkansas and then over here in the second group we have this beautiful rose quartz i chose it because it kind of reminds me of a heart a little bit kind of <laughs> i got this one in san diego absolutely love it still has a little bit of dirt in it i love my natural raw crystals oh my gosh and then this is my third so this is selenite Oh my goodness, I got this when I was living in Colorado. You can still see the Colorado dirt. This one I actually got at a discount. No one freaking wanted it because it's still, you know, it's still dirty. It has some clay in it. And it's just like, people don't understand. These crystals come out of the ground. This is, this is an, a blessing from the earth, from God. I mean, get over it. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this selenite. Um, I love selenite also because you don't really have to charge these energetically a lot like citrine. Um, they, they, they recharge themselves and they can charge other crystals as well. And so, oh my gosh, this is an angel stone. Um, there's a lot of really cool meaning behind it. But anyways, that is your third group. So whichever you resonate with most, uh, maybe sit with yourself, pray on it, meditate on it. And then, um, yeah, I will meet you guys in your reading. Okay, so group one. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, so the decks I'm using, basically this is just your regular Rider Waite deck, tarot deck. Um, and then this is a, oh my gosh, this is the sexiest tarot deck you will ever see. Um, this is the tarot deck of sexual magic. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I do not recommend this for beginners but it is a beautiful you know tarot deck to i don't know maybe you want to collect it or use it but um oh my gosh this one we obviously i want to teach you guys a little bit about the meaning behind the cards um and the numerology and you know the colors but in some of the other decks like this one obviously we're going to be basically talking about the history behind the rider weight because if you're starting out this is probably the deck you should be using um when you get to specialty decks like this you'll notice they'll come with like little books and basically the books just you know they have different meanings different symbols like if you see this this is the um knave of swords so basically the knight of swords the meaning of this versus the traditional rider weight is going to be so much different so um just keep that in mind and then our third deck we're using is the goddess guidance or oracle um the this is just an oracle deck and so obviously the book that comes with it has a lot of meaning behind what card you choose so as you can use your intuition behind it if you're reading for yourself or for others but it is very helpful to read the book that comes with it on the history behind whatever card you pull um so yeah let's just get into it i was so excited with this with this pile um first off i got goosebumps when i was reading yes i did peek i do know what you guys got um i got goosebumps and um oh my gosh it, it's a whole story so I, I mean i don't know i guess we'll just get into it so you guys can see what the heck you got okay so the first card that was pulled was justice so when you're learning tarot you will notice that this card is usually represented like of the astrological sign libra and um, it's basically a neutral card so if you're asking a yes or a no this is just completely neutral um it really depends on the question you're asking and also this is more of like a what you put in is basically your outcome so <laughs> kind of of a little bit of karma so if you've been doing good things then you can basically you're going to get what you're owed um if you've been doing naughty things well then you're going to get what you're owed <laughs> so you know getting this at first i'm like okay fairness balance cause and effect so something's about to be culminating for you as far as whatever you've been putting in from the past or even from the present it's about to all kind of unfold whether that is a good karma coming back to you or if that is bad karma so then we go to the second card that was pulled so this was the first one that was pulled and you know the story starts to unfold i guess i'll put it like this so you guys can see so the story starts to unfold the next one was the chariot 
So the chariot, usually this is a yes card. If you're asking a yes or a no question, this pops up as a yes card. Um, as far as what it's ruled by, it's ruled by the moon, which no one really talks about that. But yes, it is traditionally ruled by the moon and the astrological sign that goes along with it is cancer. Don't be fooled though. This is an action sign, okay? Yes, it is about our emotions, about how we're feeling, but this is action. This is control. This is willpower. This is success though. That's why it's a yes card. So if you're reading this, you really have to look at the surrounding cards and the overall vibe and the energy, okay? This is one of triumph, of coming out over victory, over whomever you're going up against, over whatever obstacle you have, okay? But this is action. So you might be taking you know, you are making a choice to go one way or the other. We have two different sphinx, sphinxes. <laughs> I don't know what the plural pronunciation would be, but you know, basically we have two different ones. We have a white one, we have a black one. These are two completely different roads you can take, okay? But this is one of obviously coming out on top, but also of controlling your emotions, of being, you know, you have the reins, okay? So you are basically going to probably benefit um, and you're probably feeling pretty ambitious, okay? So once I got this card, after pulling this one, I was like, all right, all right, all right. Everything's coming together now. Um, I, I feel mostly this is, um, I, I would say, good karma for the most part, but obviously I don't know that yet until I saw the third card. So the third card, this is where I started getting um, goosebumps. <laughs> so this is the Nine of Cups, okay? This is a wish fulfillment card, okay? This is of getting your hopes and your dreams. And you're like, okay, well, how do you know that? And basically, it's uh, the astrological sign of this one is Pisces. And the planet ruler of this is Neptune, okay? So this is of whatever you're dreaming up, of your goals, of your wishes, when you're in those dreamy, you know, emotional, but dreamy, um, you know, waters of Neptune. This is... It actually you know coming to fruition and I say this is it coming to fruition instead of it actually already being here because this is a nine this is the nine of cups so we're not yet to our end goal okay but the culmination of whatever energy you're putting in it, it's about to happen like like I said guys I had goosebumps reading in this reading <laughs> like I was I was too excited um, so I see you being very active and I see your actions and your control and your willpower actually coming to um, give you exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. Um, so this is just, I love pulling this card for myself. And so obviously pulling it for you guys, it was pretty freaking exciting. So now we get to the sexual magic tarot deck. Like I said, uh, this, um, Obviously it isn't a traditional deck. So the meanings of the cards are a little different. Um, so also, you know, it, it really helps to read the book that comes with it just to see what the imagery on the cards are and how they relate. But also it helps to go with your intuition and your feeling. So I got this one, which is a three of swords. And as you can see, this card, when I was blessing it, when I was charging it um, about a couple years ago when I when I purchased it, um, you know, it, it's so funny. Uh, some of the blessing of the oils and waters, it made it stick to another card. So some of it, it is not perfect. It is not in <laughs> its best state. But as a three of swords, sometimes this card scares people. But in, in this in this reading, I did not get this as this being a future outcome. Um, and I, I say that because of the next card right behind it being the Ten of Swords. Now this is a very sexy card. <laughs> so the Ten of Swords, this, this, is, this is funny. So this card, it is ruled by Saturn, all right? So it has to do with responsibility, not only that, but diligence, you know, and, and sometimes doing what needs to be done but for the better of everyone else involved. So in a negative reading, this can be you overextending yourself. This can be you putting in more work and your partner doing nothing. See, he's holding her, <laughs> right? She doesn't have to do anything but hold on tight, but he's doing all of the, all of the pumping, all of the thrusting. Um, so when I saw this card, I was like, okay, all right. So whatever you are cutting off with this Three of Swords, whatever has just ended, it's been cut off for the better. Because it, whatever it was, it was not basically good for both of you. It wasn't, um, it wasn't the first set, 
it wasn't for the success of all who were involved so whether you were channeling this as um you know if this feels like a love reading to you if this feels like a goal meaning okay maybe you're you're leaving a situation that just was not serving you anymore or that was just giving you negative vibes this was for the better right so i don't feel like this is something that's going to happen i feel like you've already you're already there and um basically what solidified this and i'm actually getting chills again because you guys pulled kali kali ma holy crap this is one of the most powerful oracle uh, cards in this deck this is the goddess guidance deck um i've worked with her a lot and um this is the card of transformation of new beginnings um things in your life it's about to get good like i'm i'm so excited just like saying this for you guys because obviously I've, I've worked with this card during the years and i know what it can do i know the power in it if you'd like to look up kali it's she's definitely someone i need to do a video on um things are going to be changing and it it might feel like it came out of left field but trust me the the blessings you're going to get instead are going to basically just like knock your socks off like this is a beautiful card. It says the old must be released so that the new can enter. The old has to be released so the new can enter. So whatever you are moving towards, whatever decisions you're making, where you're coming from a place of justice, you're coming from balance. Of If you look at the scales, the scales are in balance. So it's not like this card are, um, let me get our 10 of wands. It's not like the Ten of Wands where one person's putting in all the work, where you are doing all of the work in your family and you have to carry the whole family. Like, you know, it, you're going to get help. It's going to be balanced out, okay? Whatever choices you're making, you're making ones out of logic and reason, you know, and your intuition. You're, you're not being impulsive, right? Because you are going to come out on top. Also, you know, you have to cut out that old to get the new but whatever is coming with this like it's just we, we come back to our our nine of cups you're i don't know this is just uh, this is a very powerful reading and i'm i'm so freaking excited that i pulled it so you guys who liked this little this arkansas i say little it's really heavy this uh this clear quartz from arkansas um wow. you guys got all the good vibes so yeah i mean if this resonates with you then it does um i mean i can't see why you would not want it because like i think it, it's it's a very it's a very specific message and um yeah i'm so excited that i got to share it with you guys <laughs> so yeah um if you picked i mean so with this, some of these readings like when i watch these readings sometimes i will basically resonate with like two different crystals so if you resonated with this one and then another one then obviously continue watching but if not then you know pile one this was your reading hello group two and welcome so you chose the rose quartz i love this beautiful baby <laughs> i love it so much you guys have no idea i literally sleep with it every night um it's just my favorite I've, if you've not tried sleeping with rose quartz it is great especially if you want to do some type of shadow work it will give you very intense dreams but the type that will help you overcome uh whatever blockages you might have in your subconscious and so it might feel kind of scary at first and intense but um i feel like it's shadow work because it helps me to get over these blockages that are in my subconscious and um, I will sleep much much better going forward and I will feel much better in my waking days too so a lot of people don't talk about that um, but uh, I figured that out a couple years ago and I was like why am I having these awful dreams <laughs> like they were crazy intense dreams and um, it was because I had my verse quartz very very close to my bed so if you don't want intense dreams keep your verse quartz away from wherever you're going to be sleeping maybe put it on the opposite side of the room anyways we got off on a tangent <laughs> So you chose the second stack. Yes, I have looked at these and um, I actually had to pull a clarifier for you guys. Um, so we're just going to get into it because, um, yeah, it, this was, I, I was, I felt pulled to the rose quartz. Like I, I liked it that much. I was like, when, while I was like shuffling, I was like, I really want to know what's in this deck. So out of the other like uh, decks, like this, this is the one that um, I, I don't know. I don't know so the first card we get is six of cups 
So some people, whenever they read this, they say, oh, an ex is coming back. And I understand why they say this. Um, now you have to understand the Six of Cups as a whole. This is a neutral card in some tarot spreads, right? So some people will read it as a neutral. Some people will read it as a yes. Um, it is, the astrological sign is um, Scorpio, but it is ruled by the sun. So we know traditionally Scorpio is not ruled by the sun, but this card is. And so that's why I'm just, for those of you who are learning, um, that will help you with, you know, doing your own readings or doing readings for other people. So this usually has to do with nostalgia, the past. But I've noticed when I pull it a lot, it's about second chances. So yes, the past coming back. Um, but usually things are playful, like, like they're light, they're nice. Um, even if it's something from the past that was negative before, this is usually a better outcome. So even if this is a, an X, you know, if you want to read it like that, even if this would be an X, it would be you getting the closure that you need to move on or more understanding. Um, so with this being ruled by the sun, this is a very positive card, which is why I get confused when, you know, you're doing research into this card. Some people are saying, oh, it's a yes card. Some people are saying it's a neutral. Usually I read it as a yes card, but that's just me. So right off the bat with the first card, we see, okay, we're getting a second chance at something. So I was wondering, okay, what in terms of what? And, um, the second card we get is the ace of pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, guys, this is especially since we're doing this during the 13th and 14th, we have our Sun, which is exalted in Aries. We have our Moon, which is exalted in Taurus. This only happens once a year. So these two days are very auspicious. So this is basically a new beginning. This is a gain. This is prosperity. This is good fortune. Um, usually this has to do with the material world. It is a pentacle. So this could be in finances or like a windfall of money. I will be honest, people traditionally read this as the lottery card, but uh, now we're getting into the history of this card. This card is ruled by Saturn. Okay, Saturn is about putting in the effort and being rewarded, right? So like something that's going to be long-term and stable. So if this is a windfall, this is a windfall that will basically, um, you know, the money just isn't going to be gone right off the bat. Like it's going to be, I, I feel like a long-term change when I read this. Um, now for the astrological sign, it is Capricorn. So, I mean, th this is usually a great card. Every time I've ever pulled this for myself, it has been very, very positive. Positive. So, since we have the card of our past, whatever we're getting a second chance on, I mean, this is a very good sign. Um, so, I obviously, I had to pull more cards to get more of an idea of, like, you know, what is the story? Because whenever you're doing a reading, it's not just going about the first card. It's uh, taking into account all of the cards, right? So I'm telling you a little bit about the, the history of the cards, but we have to start using our intuition to put the pieces together and to hear the story. So the next card was the tower. Now people have a love hate relationship with the tower. I personally, I, I don't know why. Um, to be honest, these last couple weeks, I was kind of hoping to get the tower. And today when I pulled it, when I felt when I felt called to this rose quartz, I, I was actually excited for this. Um, so if you ever pull the tower, look at the surrounding cards, okay? Look at them, what are they? That's basically going to tell you what this tower moment is going to be like for you. So the tower is ruled by Aries, okay? There's a lot of fire, there's a lot of action happening. So for something with the tower, I feel like there are changes that can happen on more of a spiritual level, of a more internal level. Um, when I see this, or what, well, I, when I've pulled it for other people in the past, I've noticed that um, changes in their lives, like radical changes in their lives have happened based on the other cards. That's, I figure out, okay, what is this going to be? Is this going to be with money? Is this going to be with love? Um, but uh, if we just, if we want to talk about traditionally, this is radical change. This is, you know, this is something that you, you can't ignore it, okay? Um, it's gonna be, like your future is going to be absolutely nothing like your past. For some, it is of loss, it is of tragedy. But like I said, you have to look at the other cards. Our other cards are not negative at all. Um, so this change, even if it might scare the crap out of us when it's happening, because it's gonna happen out of left field, we don't see this coming. And um, I had to pull a clarifier on this. So no one else got a clarifier in this group. I had to because um, I had to know, okay, what type of change is this going to be? So we pulled the clarifier 
and we got the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is uh, the sign, or not the sign, but the planet is ruled by Neptune. These are hopes, wishes, dreams coming true. This uh, astrological sign of the card is Pisces. This is a very, very happy, happy, happy card. Um, and also it is that of reunion. So I, I don't know, for those of you who asked a question or you're feeling intuitively towards a like a relationship, I could definitely see this being someone from your past coming back, but you guys having, it's gonna be nothing like what it was. So whatever your, your relationship was, it's, it's gonna be completely different. It's gonna be a fresh start with them. This is a card of like abundance and of just long-term harmony. Um, obviously you have family, you have happiness, um, it's and it's it's funny because like it's not just emotional fulfillment but it's also like spiritual because we have Neptune so that's why it's very important to see what planet rules the card as well because the astrological sign isn't we're just not going to go off based off of that so sometimes they do match up like in this case Neptune does rule Pisces well Jupiter does rule Pisces as well but in other cards you know you you'll notice that the astrological ruler is not the card ruler and so it's um it's been very helpful for me to look into that um and just you know obviously letting you guys know too <laughs> so we already know this is a good change but it's gonna it's gonna lay you out like it's gonna knock your socks off <laughs> so if you if you feel scared about this change um there's really nothing you can do every whenever i pull this card there there's nothing you can do to get out of this like this this change is going to be radical um you're not going to see it coming and there really isn't anything you can do to prepare for it and so um i'm not going to say that you're not going to be n nervous or worried while it's happening because it might seem like something very scary it could possibly even seem like a loss while it's happening but um just you're gonna have to have faith because we got the clarifier clarifier tells us in the long term it's going to work out so no matter what happens we we have some big changes um you guys the first group they pulled they had kali ma and you know if you've ever worked with kali yeah that change is radical too so it's funny that we also got a card of you know crazy changes <laughs> so here for our last two cards look at these i love this sexual uh tarot deck it is just oh, it's so beautiful so we have the three of cups and we have the sun I'm trying to focus so you guys i hope you, hope you guys can see that i mean the imagery and the artistry it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorite decks. Now, when reading these, we don't read these as we would a a normal, you know, Rider weight tarot deck. Um, this is more off of intuition and also off of what the artist intended, because there there are some things that they drew to help you interpret these. So three of cups, if we're talking about traditionally, this is the card of celebration. Um, I hate in some readings, like some astrologers, or I hate in some readings how some people will try to say like it's of like a third person. Um, I could see how maybe in a specific reading you could get that, but in general, it's not. It's that of reunion, first off. So <laughs> we have such a huge theme of reunion. What, we have three cards now that reunion, like, I don't know. At reunion, it's not just someone from your past. It could just be a second chance at um, something that you thought you would not get a second chance at again. This could be something regarding your job, your work. Um, this is where you have to feel what what do these cards like how are they speaking to you um i can't tell you if this is a love reading i can't tell you if this is a money reading i can tell you what i think it is but it's it's mostly based off of what is going on with you and how do you feel um and so this is a very social card as well right so help or outside source is helping us because we have the sun we have so much happiness coming in oh my gosh i'm so excited like trust me people read the ten of cups as being happiness card the sun is the happiness card like it is the so the sun card astrologically it's um it's ruled by leo 
and um, well, astrologically, I, uh, I guess that's the zodiac sign, but uh, the planet would be the sun, obviously. And it's just one of happiness, of being carefree, of just living your best life. I mean, this is a really, really beautiful reading. And um, so the last is from the Goddess Guidance Oracle. And um, this just kind of like sealed the deal for me. It definitely got my heart pumping up. We got Yamania. So Yamania is a Brazilian and African goddess. And as you see, she kind of looks like a mermaid. <laughs> She's bathing in the blue waters. So Yamanya says, golden opportunity. Golden opportunity, guys. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Walk through them. So with this Oracle deck, it really is helpful to read the book that comes along with it to see, okay, what, what did they intend for this specific card, okay? Because people take months, sometimes years, creating these decks. They have very special intentions. So yes, go off your intuition, but also read up on what did they actually mean for this deck. So for this one, this is obviously the timing is everything, but this is take the opportunity. Like this is your moment. Not only that, but everything from the past that came before has basically prepared you for this right now. So even if you're like, I don't know how to pull this off, like, no, this is like, nope, nope, you're already prepared so don't hesitate and in fact that's what's in the book it says don't hesitate so you might feel a little scared you might feel a little nervous maybe i'm not ready yet maybe i should wait for this timing it's telling you right now right now also in the book it says this means get ready for a big change and also celebrate success which over here we have the three of cups this is all about celebration this is all about just being happy just oh my gosh like it's like the reunion i mean so this was a i feel like a very specific meaning which is funny because i said that for the first group too but really it was i mean we have cards that not only are validating previous cards but they're just like they're working together and i love when this happens when everything just flows this is oh my gosh this is such an exciting reading but whew, this catalyst i don't know what it's going to be guys i don't know what it's going to be right? So I would never try to lead you into thinking, oh, it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows because whatever's going to happen is going to have, you know, your heart pounding a little bit. You are going to be a little nervous about it. Um, and I think that's why we got this almost, I didn't pull it as a clarifier, but it, it kind of just says, don't it, well, it actually says, don't hesitate. Like if you read in the book on what this card represents, the book says, don't hesitate. So you're going to want to hesitate. Whenever someone says, don't hesitate or be confident, they're usually probably saying it because you're doing the opposite. So um, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. You're gonna feel completely comfortable moving into this huge radical change that's about to happen in your life. Um, but so whether this is someone from your past coming back right because we have the reunion cards we have the three of cups that's a reunion card even the ten of cups is a reunion card um also it could be just mean a second opportunity so however that resonates but oh i'm so excited especially with this sun card that's so hard to pick these up this card is so beautiful but yeah so group two this was our reading I am so excited. I'm so happy. Um, as far as for these readings, I've noticed things usually culminate, I would say, sometimes as quickly as like three days, um, sometimes within a week. Um, I've only had actually one reading that took like a month. So usually things will start to move pretty quickly. So just, <laughs> I guess, be on the lookout. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys what happens in my life and hopefully you guys will let us know um, how this actually affects you.